So I'd like to show another position where using a computer is maybe not the best idea. So this time I was again playing black, and uh, it was actually again a Nidorf. Surprise, surprise, my favorite opening. So it's the bishop g5 variation. I'm just making the first moves very quickly here. So h4 is kind of an offbeat move in this position, f5 is more normal, but uh, h4, it's not a bad move at all. So I played uh, bishop b7, or sorry, no, I played b4 first, knight c2, bishop b7, bishop h3. White's threatening to sacrifice on e6, so I probably should defend it. I play uh, knight c5, and now knight g3. So this is a position that a computer will not be helpful for at all. Like, at this point, uh, I looked at uh, what Ripka said, and it gave the first, uh, I think, something like five moves the black could play. It said they were of inherently equal value, which is completely false. And it have even had, uh, it said castling was something like 0.06, I believe. But, uh, so white is very slightly better. But this is just a bad move, because white will be able to develop a dangerous initiative by playing h5 and g6. Now the computer may be able to think, you know, this position is easy to defend. But maybe it is for it, but not for humans. And in the meantime, where's Black's counterplay? Mm, basically non-existent. So, I thought about this position for a while, and I played g6, which Ripka said was the third best move, but it also said was about the same value as uh, castling. But, as it turns out, g6 is far and away the best move, because it stops any white ideas of playing f5. And in the meantime, Black will castle queenside. So... For example, if Black Castle Queenside right now, after f5, he's going to be under some serious pressure. Because this pawn is attacked, if it plays e5, then f6 check, discovered attack on the king, will pick up this bishop. And um, if I try to defend it with like queen d7, then takes, takes, and uh, there's lots of bad things that could happen, but uh, just to go over one, let's say even knight takes e6, followed by queen b3, looks to be more than sufficient to give white a very big advantage. This knight's going to fall, and when that happens, uh, white will have complete control of all the light squares. So, and if uh, e takes f5, well then some knight takes f5, threatening discoveries, threatening knight takes uh, g7, and it's really clear that black's position is not enviable. So, after g6, if white basically plays a nothing move, like let's say he plays king b1, then black will happily castle queenside. And the next move he plays king b8, so that f5 can always be met by e5 if necessary. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.